Hi y'all, welcome to my kitchen for a tip of the week. Uh, let's talk about finishes for uh, natural, uh, or for utility bowls. A lot of people have questions about that. Uh, Mike Mahoney, who, manu who manufactures a walnut oil finish, and he's, he's a professional wood turner that's made thousands of salad, salad bowls, uh, suggests that sometimes the best finish is no finish. So let's, let's uh, look at this cereal bowl and, and talk about it. This is my cereal bowl uh, made out of cherry. I've been using this uh, almost every day for years uh, to eat my breakfast cereal. I think originally it looks pretty plain. There's no, uh, doesn't look like it has any finish. I think it had a couple of coats of Minwax antique oil on it to, to begin with, but they're, they're long gone. And I simply wash it in uh, under the sink with a little bit of uh, soapy water when I finish and uh, wipe it dry, set it aside, aside to dry. Why use a wooden cereal bowl? Well, it gives you a chance to actually uh, test finishes and get, uh, find out how, how you actually experience it. I can remember several years ago when I first uh, started wood turning, I went to a sales show uh, that my sister, who's involved in an art group over in uh, Birmingham, Alabama, invited me to. And one of the questions she had when I was getting ready to set up was that uh, asked, she picked up a bowl and she says, uh, can you eat out of this bowl? And I thought, hmm, boy, there's a thought I never, never thought about, and it got me, got me thinking. Uh, the predecessor of this bowl, I left. I made the mistake of leaving it in a sink with water overnight, <coughs> and it, and it cracked. So you do need to wash them uh, when you, when you finish. But there's something. So you ask, why would you want to eat cereal out of a wooden bowl? Well, there's just something. There's just a different sensation about uh, eating out of a wooden bowl, and and the way the the spoon kind of uh, just makes a little different noise than this clink, clink, clink when you get with a uh, porcelain or, or a or clay, clay fired, fired bowl. There's something about using handmade objects uh, similar to the cereal bowl, using this coffee scoop that I've, I've made, uh, I use every, every day when I make coffee, and it's just a good feeling to use something that you've actually produced. But actually using a bowl will help you better understand the differences between a film finish like lacquer, shellac, and varnish, and oil finishes uh, such as uh, Minwax antique oil. Uh, do you have a wooden salad bowl? <laughs> I confess I have not turned one for my wife, so I guess I need to add that to my to-do list. But several folks use walnut oil for utility bowls, and that's probably what I will use when I turn a salad bowl. Mahoney's oil finish is good, and there are several products from Ron Brown's Best and Doctor's Wood Shop that are, that are very similar. All of these have been heat treated to remove the, uh, uh, I forget what you call them, the, the, the items that tend to cause uh, 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 nut allergies. You have to make up your own decision on, on that. So thanks for watching. If you got any comments, you know the drill. Put it in a comment below. Uh, give me any suggestions for a future video, and thanks for watching.